Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about valve grinding. Let's get to it. In previous videos, we've talked about cutting three angle valve seats. We've uh, disassembled the head and pulled these out, replaced stems, checked them, um, even done valve lapping. Today I want to go a little bit further and talk about grinding the valve face. So this is the face right here. Let's see if I can point it out. This is the face. This part here is called the margin. And then this is the stem. The wear area on these typically is right here. It's on the face. Especially uh, prevalent on the exhaust valves. The intakes also wear, but usually not as much. If this area wears quite a bit and it's impossible to lap out and you don't feel like buying new valves it is possible to re-grind these and do a new face on them anymore you don't see a whole lot of re-grinding done because well valves especially just for like a daily driver they've become pretty cheap uh, and the machines you can still find them on places like marketplace and ebay and craigslist things like that but not a lot of people have them Still, we're going to take a look at one. Uh, I've got a friend who has one. In fact, it's a valve grinder that I used probably back in the 1980s, the same exact one. The general idea is, you put this into a machine that allows you to set the angle of this and it'll rotate the valve around while a grinding stone is rotating. And you pass this face across the face of the grinding stone and take off material here till it's smooth. You want to take off as little as possible because as you take off material here what that's going to do is it's going to cause it to sit further down into the valve seat and when it sits further down this sticks out the uh, top of the head even further. Again for a daily driver it's probably not going to make any difference if you've got a hydraulic cam. The hydraulic lifters are going to take up that lash. And if you've got adjustable ones, such as on the Slant 6, you can just adjust that out. It will, though, raise this up, and that does decrease the spring pressure of your valve spring on the, uh, well, I guess on the spring seat. Just something to note. Another thing to note here. Again, I talked about this part here. This is called the margin. This is really important. As you grind on this face, come on, focus. As you grind on this face, the margin will get thinner. The margin is where a lot of heat gets transferred out. It also transfers from the stem into the valve guide, but you lose a fair bit of heat off of the valve here. As this gets thinner and thinner, it has less ability to dissipate heat and more likely to burn. So you don't want this to get super thin. You don't want it to be, you know, all the way down to like a, just a sharp edge. So that's something to keep in mind as you're grinding them. I'm going to take these valves, put them in a box, ship them off to Dr. Torque, and he's going to go through the grinding process. So let's take a look at that. Hey, welcome back for something very interesting today because today we're working with Chris over Yoshimoshi. We'll put a link to his channel at the end of the video. It's very cool. He's doing a budget head rebuild and he's actually asked Dr. Torque to do a little something special, a little bit of the work. And so once again, here to tell us all about it, it's Dr. Torque himself. So I've known this guy since the first day of first grade when my mother <laughs> suggested I go sit next to him. Oh, is that how that happened? That's how we met. Anyway. We grew up together, worked on cars together. We used to have all sorts of fun. Now he lives thousands of miles from here, or over a thousand miles, probably thousands. Anyway, long, long ways away. Mm -hmm. And he's working on uh, an engine in his Dart, since darts are cool. Darts are cool. And uh, he uh, disassembled the head, and I said, why don't you send me those valves and I'll grind them for you. Oh. And the reason why is because his father used to own a machine shop or at least a, a you know a repair facility that had certain machining tools I don't know exactly the extent of it but uh, I ended up buying the valve grinding machine and the seat grinding stuff from his dad a few years back and I've actually never used them that's pretty cool so I told Chris to send them to me and then I'm gonna send him 
the seat grinding stuff so he can do the seats and I'm going to do the valves and maybe when we're done it'll work again. <laughs> and that's awesome. And uh, is that what we're looking at here? That is. Those are the valves. I've got these have all been kind of pre-cleaned on my wire wheel except for these two. That's an exhaust valve and you can see how gross that is with some carbon. Yeah, you can see that was exhausting some stuff. And even worse, this one here Holy moly. is disgusting with junk. Wow. I'm pretty sure he had some bad valve seals that was allowing oil to drizzle down here and then hit the back of the valve that was hot and just kind of get gross on it. So <laughs> anyway, I'll yeah. take you through some of the process of what we do to, to do this job. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. So like that's a, clearly the, the fat end. Yeah, this is that's the big end. This is big end. This is the other end. That's a back end. <laughs> <laughs> this is the skinniest part. That is the skinny part. Or unless you talk about these some groovy nice, things. Groovy things. And there you have it. And now you know all about valves. Now you know about automotive valves. That's right. So I guess this is called a head and this is called a stem. Okay. And those are probably actually called grooves. I don't remember. But this angle right here is approximately, probably from the factory, it's actually 45 degrees. Now, are you talking about the angle where they seat or the... The actual seat part here, you'll yeah. see on this valve where I've already done some yeah, grinding, you, you see how it's all shiny? Yeah, so that, that's the part that makes contact. So on this one here, you can see what's called a margin. You see how wide this is right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 82 thousandths, 70, 80 right thousandths. Right there, right there, yeah. So whether the calipers are correct, you know, accurate or not, I don't know. But in any case, you can see this one here that I already ground at 45 degrees this is an intake and this is an exhaust but it still should have a similar size margin Much is significantly different. smaller yes yeah, less than half so there's a couple things that we're going to do on these that we're going forward is we're actually adjusting the angle to 46 or 47 it's right in there somewhere it's not it's not a science <laughs> sort of <laughs> science anyway and why would we do that why would we well, well he's going to grind the valves or the seats at 45 okay. and then we're going to grind them at a steeper angle so instead of having this entire width here being the exact same angle as the seat, and so you may or may not have, you know, perfect alignment of the two, if you change the angles between the two of them, there's going to be like a lot smaller, you know, area of actual con contact between the two. Right. And so he's going to take those and then lap them together so he knows he has a good seal all the right all the way around the outside but the secondary you know advantage of that is if we t change the angle that we're grinding to this way this is like ex exaggerated we can grind that face with less chance of grinding out the margin now that's a seriously old black and decker what year is that i'm not sure probably cool. probably mid 40s to mid 50s that is neat look at the old switch Switcheroos. The old man, switcheroo. <laughs> the old switcheroos. Okay, all right. So this is this is an X machine. I love it. What are we doing here? So that appears to be a valve. That is stuck a valve. Stuck in the drill end. Yes, it, and that kind of is what it is. It works similar to how a drill clamps down on a thing. A little bit. bit. <laughs> yeah, there's obviously the, the screw tightener back there. The titerizer back there. The titerizer. And then you can see right here. Hopefully, you can see where it actually is marked at 45, and I'm just barely beyond oh, it. Oh, yes, there you go. See, yeah, uh huh. And so, is that now are you on purpose past it? Yes, oh, okay. that's the 46 ish. Oh, 46 ish, gotcha. Thing that we're going for. So, there's two different things we're going to do on here. Once I turn this on, the valve Ooh. spins like it's in a drill, and then the other thing is this one spins that Ooh, very fast. It smells like ozone. So there's two different motors doing two different things. So this is actually able to do the grinding, but this spins it so, so it does evenly. it evenly. Because yeah. if you don't grind it evenly, you're going to regret it. You might have a... You have to buy more valves. <laughs> that would suck. So how do we determine the amount that is being ground? We do as little as possible. We're just barely touching that sucker. So what? while those are spinning, you have the ability to... So yeah, once yeah, it's spinning, right you actually even want to do this across the face of that stone. So it actually grinds 
you know, it, it's, it's wearing the stone away at the same time that it's grinding on the valve. And yeah. so you want to try to keep the, the stone as flat as possible. Mm -hmm. Turn this one on first. And I'm going to turn this one on. And I'm going to take it in really slowly. Probably remarkably slowly. <laughs> it usually takes way longer than I think it's going to. Oh, you can see it. See how there's sparks now? And so then I do this. Take that. And I'm going to turn this one off. Just to make sure I don't do something stupid. Yeah, that's a great idea. We don't need accidents. And this one turning to the right actually moves it that direction, which seems opposite of what I would expect. Mm, so it's somewhat counterintuitive to you. Oh, it needs more. See, I could see a little flex, but I couldn't tell how yeah. much it was going by really quick. So right, I don't know if you go. can I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but there's little just like little yeah. pock marks or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Where it hasn't gotten done yet. So and even though this is only for Chris, we still want that. To be yeah, done. it's only for Chris. Good point. I should stop. <laughs> You're welcome, Chris. So the uh, the other part we're gonna do is this end here, because the rocker arm pushes on this thing, you know, just a Mopar, so probably ten thousand times a minute. <laughs> It's, that's the RPM. It actually, that's it what it idles at. It actually causes a little bit of damage to this end here. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of almost just shiny. Some of the other ones, you can actually see more damage. A little bit of an indent in the... So the other thing we do is over here, and I'll trade you sides. All right, so now that we're out and rebalanced here, what do we got there? So we've got another same valve. Same valve, but we're going to, you know, finish the end of the... So thingy. it just gets pinched in that sucker. Yeah, this thing tightens down on it and holds it square. We turn the same motor on over here that we were that turns Oops. this thing. This is just like a big bench grinder, so both Bo both, oh, both of these stones at the same time. Grinder, okay. So we turn this one on, and then as I turn this micrometer type thing in, it Ooh, takes it closer. Fancy. Oh yeah, nothing but the best. Like a doctor. Yeah. So turn this on. Like, like a doctor for. You know it. And then I slowly turn this in. And then I borrow the light. Looks like it needs a little bit more. Yeah. So this should just slip out. Then that's all nice Ooh, and flat wow. and shiny. That is very nice and flat and shiny. So some valve grinders have a thing that puts puts the valve at a 45 degree angle kind of, and you can go pshhh. Mm, so, so you just bevel the through. edge here. Uh, oh. So it makes it, so it goes in the, the, mm, the head a little bit easier. Good. Some people just do that by hand on a, on a bench grinder. I'm just gonna not worry about it and let Chris worry about it if he feels he like it. He needs it. He can probably just literally take a flat file and lay it down and go like this on the flat file. Do and that. that'd be good enough. He just needs to get it through the hole. So that is the basics of grinding a valve. That is awesome. So now that's ready for another. I think he puts on average something like two miles a year on this car since he bought it. <laughs> so, so he should be good for the next 50 years? Should, should be good until he's dead. Good until you're dead. So now we've got some more of these to do, but then we're gonna get them over to Chris. But I, I just wanted to point out something, Chris, when you see this, you're gonna see, this one's obviously crooked. See how that's crooked? It's bent. But we were saying, don't worry, we'll just grind that straight, yeah, right? It'll be ground perfectly yeah, straight. Yeah, we'll grind it straight. <laughs> I, I think that's very funny. I was amused. Got these valves back from Dr. Torque. Take a look at that. That's a really nice face. Still plenty of margin left. I dropped it into a guide to make sure that it's smooth here and it fits. Sometimes they mushroom out up here, as you saw in his video. Also, sometimes they will not be straight. Sometimes these can get bent. Again, he showed you that. But this is what they look like when they're done. This is ready to drop in and reassemble the head. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.